In today's video we are expanding on our last tutorial where we learned how to use views in our games. So views are basically a camera shot that follows our player as they move throughout each level. Okay, so you can see the camera following my player in whatever direction she goes. Now the addition to this that we're adding in this tutorial is the score panel at the bottom of the page here. Okay, no matter where my girl goes, that score panel will always be at the bottom of the screenshot. Okay, and the score and the lives will also be in that bottom left hand corner. Okay, so you can see as I move left and right it follows me. As I go up and down, that score panel will follow me everywhere I go. Okay, so we haven't done anything like this before. Here's a little bit tricky, so we'll pop on over to Game Maker now and have a go at getting this done. Alright, so oops, I'll just close that off. Now we're not starting from scratch today, we're actually going to use our game from our previous tutorial where we started creating views for the first time. If you forget what that looks like, it was the example you just saw on your screen, there was this big level that looks something like this. Alrighty, so load that game up now. And to get started today, we're just going to need to bring in one more new sprite for this. So hit the create sprite button at the top and load one in. And the one you want is this little love heart here. We've used it in previous tutorials to represent lives. So see if you can find that sprite now and click on open and give it the name SPR underscore life. Click OK. Once you've brought in the sprite, convert it to an object and give it the name OBJ oops, underscore life and attach the appropriate sprite to it. Click OK once you've done that. And the next thing we're going to do is start creating our score panel. Before we actually create the object for the score panel, we want to go to our room, uh, which is level 1 here, and make sure we've made our room a little bit bigger. Now, I've already done that earlier on today, but you need to just go to your settings tab quickly and change your height. I think it was originally at 480. I want you to make it 544. And that's going to give you two extra grid lines at the bottom of the page where we can put our score panel. Alrighty, so 544 is what you want to be using for your height. Press the green tick once you've done that, and we're going to create a new object now, which is going to be the actual score panel. So, create an object, call it obj underscore score, and we're not going to attach a sprite to it because we're going to draw this score panel ourselves. Alrighty, so the way we draw our score panel ourselves is we add in an event, and the event we're after is a draw event. We're going to draw this score panel ourselves. Okay, so select draw. Once you select the draw, we're going to set the background color of our score panel first. Okay, so go all the way down the bottom of these tabs to the draw tab, and we're going to choose the color palette here by right clicking on it, and we're going to set a color for our background of our score panel. Okay, I'm going to choose this dark purple over here. I think it'll go well with the maroon color I chose for the background earlier. So click OK on that. Once you set the background color of your score panel, you need to actually draw that background on. And we do that by using the draw rectangle feature. Okay, I've worked out the coordinates you need for this uh, background to work properly earlier on, so just copy what I write into here, and hopefully it works correctly for you. For the x1 value, which is the top left hand corner of our score panel, you want to write the word view underscore x view. And for the bottom left hand corner of our rectangle, that's the y1 value, we write view underscore Y view plus 288. Okay. For X2, that's the top right hand corner of our rectangle. We're going to write in view underscore X view plus 512. And then for the Y2, which is the bottom right hand corner of our rectangle, we do view underscore oops, Y view plus 480. Okay, so make sure you've got those written in exactly like I have. Filled should remain as filled. That's basically just going to fill in the rectangle that we're drawing right now with a solid color. And that was the color we chose just before. Click OK. That should give us a background for our score panel. What we want to do next is actually draw the score and the lives on top of that background. So the first thing you want to do is change the color here by selecting the color palette. And I'm going to choose a color for our font or our text. Something bright that's going to contrast well with that dark purple is a good idea. So the yellow or white text is going to stand out nicely. I'm just going to stick with white. Once I've got my color set back to white, I'm going to add in the score. And the way I do that is go to the score tab, choose this third bunch of little dots, which is called draw score. 
and I want you to write in the following values for the x value write in view underscore x view and for the y value write view underscore y view plus 288 and we'll leave the caption as score that's basically going to write our score on the screen for us last thing we want to do is draw the number of lives on the screen and the way we do that is we select this bottom bunch of love hearts here and I think this icon has changed in the newer version of Game Maker so be careful that you're getting the right uh, action there it is the draw life images action Okay. and to draw the life images you want to set the x value there to same as what we've been doing before x, uh, sorry view underscore x view and for the y value we'll do it a little bit different view underscore y view plus 320 so that's going to put it just below our score now the image you want to use to display the number of lives we've got is SPR underscore life. Okay, it's going to display those little hearts to represent our lives. We'll click OK on that. That there has basically drawn our score panel for us. Before we test it though, I just want to set up a couple more things. Uh, so we can see our lives on the screen, what we need to do is add another event here to object score. It's going to be an other event and it's going to be a game start when the game starts you want to set your lives to three so choose this first love heart set your lives to three click OK so that's going to give you three lives when the game starts and now we should see three little, little love hearts drawn in our score panel to represent those lives and the other thing we might add to this object score very quickly is what happens when we run out of lives so we're going to add in a step event so basically we're going to test the number of lives we've got and we're going to test when that number gets to zero so that means when we've got no more lives left the operation should still be equal to we need to perform a couple of events so in the control tab open up a block of events go back to main 2 and we'll display a message first of all to say that our game's over okay so when our lives are equal to zero we display a message saying game over after that message has disappeared we just want to end the game okay see so that little red button there back in the control tab close your block of events off that's all we need to finish our game off so let's click on OK um, what we're going to do now is simply code up the diamonds to give us some points when we collect them we haven't done that just yet. What we've got is when we collect the diamonds, we'll have a collision with the diamonds. We play a sound and we destroy the diamonds so it disappears, but we don't get any points. So for our score panel to work properly, we need to give our diamonds some points. So in the score tab here, choose the first option here, the set score. Just give yourself 10 points for getting a diamond and check relative so it keeps adding your score up. Click OK and just move those little yellow dots underneath the sound so it's in the middle of the two actions there if you want you can copy that and go down to the collision with the right girl on the diamond and just paste it in and just move it into the same position in between the sound and the destroy instance alright so each collision event with the diamond should have yourself earning 10 points click OK that's the only way we can earn points in this game now we also want to be able to die when we hit a bad guy so in this case it's the ghost that we're going to be hitting so open up object girl left there and object girl right and look for the collision event with the ghost at the moment when we hit the ghost we play a sound that we've died and then we restart the current level what we want to do is lose a life as well so in the score tab choose the first love heart there to set your lives to minus one and make sure it's relative so it takes one life off your current number of lives and when you click OK just drag that up and drop it in between the sound and the restart current room there you can copy that action and go and paste it on the other girl so this is on object girl left now when she collides with the ghost I'm just going to paste that in and put it in the same position in between the other two actions OK so that's looking pretty good I think we basically got everything into our game now what I'm going to do is just go over to level 1 here and make sure that you put your object score in down the bottom here so in your objects you should have your object score 
and if you haven't done so already make sure you put it in the bottom corner here just under your game that's where our score is going to be displayed hit the green tick I think we are ready to go and we're ready to test this game so let's press the green play button at the top it may just take a moment to compile but fingers crossed it's working so what we're looking for is a dark colored background for our score panel we're looking for the word score plus our score to add up when we collect diamonds and then below that we should have three lives when we begin the game and each time we hit a bad guy we should lose one of those lives Alright, the other thing we need to make sure is that our scoreboard actually follows us as we move through the game. Okay, again, I'm not sure why game make, makes my game smaller, but it does. Alright, score panel's working, we've got the dark background, we've got the score, we've got the love hearts. Let's go and test that they all work. First of all, it's moving with us, that's good. Let's hit, I want to hit that ghost. Lost to life. Now, as I jump up, you're going to notice that this score panel is hidden behind the wall. That's something we're going to have to fix in a moment. I can see my score going up, which is good. Let's just see if I can get to the top of the page. Yep, I can get up the top and that score panel's not going anywhere. The issue we've got though is that it's hiding behind this wall. Okay, and there is a way to fix that. And it's quite simple. All you need to do is go back to your object score here and change its depth from zero to minus, you could have anything really in the negatives, but I'm just going to write minus 10. Click OK. And that's all you need to do to fix that problem. That's going to put your scoreboard in front of everything else on the page. Everything else has its depth of 0. Your scoreboard now will be above that with its depth of minus 10. Alright, so I'll quickly run this game one more time just to show you that that's working. And hopefully we've got our scoreboard all done. nearly ready again game's coming out small I'm not sure why but as I jump now you can see the score panel is over the top of the wall and we can see our score now everywhere we go okay I'll just make sure that when I lose three lives that um, my game finishes we better double check that game over and my game ends Alrighty, so that's got our scoreboard working. You can save that up now, hitting the save disk, and if you want to be able to play that at home, make sure you create the application. Okay.